All right, talk about a couple good books that you can sit down with the kids, <laughs> read before bedtime. And yeah. this is one, Susan, I said as a kid, I would have picked up at the Scholastic Book Fair. They look yes. so fun. Based on author and cartoonist Brian Anderson's nationally syndicated comic strip, Dog Eat mm -hmm. Doug, as well as <laughs> Brian's own pets and family, Sophie Jurassic Bark and yeah. Sophie Frankenstein's Hound yes. are the first two books in a new graphic novel series for middle school readers full of a lot of adventures, jokes, and adorable illustrations. And Brian is now here joining <laughs> us this morning to talk all about it. So good to see you. Brian, you have such a creative brain to come up with these. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes. absolutely. Um, well, tell us about the, the, the books because love the I'm loving looking through and uh, looking at the pictures. Mm -hmm. um, but, but tell us about these two and maybe some of the characters you've created here. Yeah, there. I mean, it's really kind of like a documentary of my life. I mean, the whole strip idea came from Sophie. You can see her there on the screen. Um, she inspired the entire strip. It was one of those light bulb moments. And then, as this, as the comic continued, when we adopted our cats, they made it into the strip. And Aww. then my son was born. So I had made up Doug originally, but then I had a real son. So it became a slice of life comic. Um, and then when we were fostering dogs, their stories make it into the books. Um, so it's it's real life, but then of course they go on their imaginary journeys, and then also the cats are always trying to take over the world, which is how I imagine <laughs> what cats think about all day. Uh huh. And, and we're loving. You've got pictures of the family and the pets. Your inspiration for your book series. I mean, this has to be a lot of fun for you. It is. It's, you know, it's, it's, Sophie's unfortunately gone now, but this is, oh. you know, I still have her because uh -huh. I get to, you know, do these books. Yeah. And then I also get to share, you know, the other dogs that come into my life and the cats. Um, and it's always fun trying to figure out how do you, how do you make that fun? How do you make that right. fun for the whole family? Yeah. So that there's a laugh in there for everybody. Well, that's for sure. I mean, right. just based on the cover, I think we can all relate. Like, <laughs> we love our dogs, and we think, oh, they're just so precious and perfect. Yes. And then all of a sudden, they just turn into these monsters. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we're all flipping through, and, and we're we, right we there with you. We can all relate. Yes. Yeah. Um, and talk to us, I, I would think that the process for this one has been a little bit different for you, trying to create a graphic novel series as mm -hmm. opposed to maybe a syndicated comic strip. Yeah, it was, it was, there was a bit of, it was not challenging in the sense I've been around these characters for almost 20 years, uh -huh. so that was the easy part. The hard part was the rhythm. You know, you're going from four tiny panels in a newspaper to you've got a endless playground, so you can kind of lose control, and I was lucky to have a really good editor who would always remind me, uh, you know, that's not what Sophie would do. You, you kind of lose sight of Sophie. So I just kind of come up with the ideas and let, let Sophie kind of take over with her personality. Um, and that kind of helps the, you just kind of sit back and watch and then jot it down as it happens. Oh, wow. And I mean, I have to say, and I think we would all agree, you have the coolest job ever and, and what a career journey it's been. Talk to us about how, you know, a syndicated cartoonist, children's how did you get book here? author, mm -hmm. how did all this happen? Well, the plan was when I got syndicated, I knew newspapers were slowing down. It wasn't the Snoopy days, but I'd always wanted yeah. to follow in Snoopy's path. So I'd always had the vision to, to branch Sophie out of newspapers into graphic novels and animation. Um, but over the years, you know, that business, it became tougher and tougher to do it. And there was a lot of issues. And I had a, came to a point where I had a choice. I could either, you know, try to fight against the big businesses and stuff like that, the mm -hmm. single creator, um, or I could quit. And I didn't like either option. So I made a third option. I got to actually... The one thing that really kind of helped at the low point was I got a letter from a reader. From her, the, the mom sent me a photo of her son and his dog. And based on the comic strip, he was inspired to write and draw his own comic strip. Oh. And this kid had never seen a newspaper. And it dawned on me, I'm like, he only knows Sophie because his mom downloaded the ebooks that I had put out. And that was the moment I said, well, what am, what am I doing this for? And that's, it refocused everything and re reminded me why I do this. So at that point, I sat down, just mapped out a plan, mm -hmm. which included graphic novels and animation. And then I just started step-by-step -step executing on that plan. And here we are today. 